with glass, you have to be willing to let it do what it wants to do. You really are helping it out when it's kind of molten and alive and gooey and dangerous. And then you're bringing it to the state where it's temporary. So originally my influences were uh, from drawing and painting. Uh, I think that's where my influences started because that was the first kind of art that I made. And I did a lot of drawing as a kid and so I looked at, you know, of course, you know, Renaissance masters, but also like a lot of uh, graphic art as well and, and uh, uh, basically uh, contemporary uh, illustration as well. And I was really excited by, you know, the immediacy of it. You know, you can affect the change on the paper and you have something you can look at, kind of enjoy and get lost in. The more I studied glass, the more I realized that, that drawing is essential in planning out, you know, like doing sketches of things you would like to make. It's, it's very helpful because you don't have to do it in the studio when you're dealing with molten glass and gravity and heat and cracks and stuff. If you work it out on paper, you can kind of plan your steps out a little bit better. I had um, really been influenced also by things that aren't glass. There's a filmmaker, Matthew Barney, he's a sculptor who does performances around the sculpture, incorporating the sculpture, but also makes movies of them. And so in that, you know, it's not just the sculpture, but how it fits into this other story or this timeline, or even just like something that doesn't even need to be a timeline, but still it, you follow this path and, you know, it doesn't become about the object, it becomes about the performance and then what's, what the audience sees from that. That's what I want to do at Glassworks too, is to kind of make it not a spectacle of the glass, but to, to entertain and inform people and let them walk away with something more instead of it being something that uh, they're lectured to. I really want them to feel like they learned something, but they also are bettered by it and had a good time, you know. Also, I'm influenced by other people who work with, with heat, with flame, and fire performers and fire spinners, um, and people who play with fire, they play with danger, and that's also something very similar for me. Um, and also the, the kind of carnival atmosphere that the glass studio has.
I really have to keep challenging myself with it, you know, because if I, if I do something that's consistent all the time, all the way, always predictable, then, then I might as well give up and find something else to do.